So we're in Swakopmund and we're just going to Vinto. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I hope So, I've just been to Woolworths. I've just got like a little haul. So we're in Swakopmund and we're just going to Vintok, the capital, for a couple of days. But I just wanted to show you a little bit around here. Got like a little gelato shop there. And we're going to go to Woolworths. Okay, I'm really sorry that this is a bit shaky, but I didn't know if I was allowed to film or not. But I just wanted to show you a little bit around this store in Swakopmund. They have a bigger Woolworths in Vintuk, which is the capital of Namibia. And they have huge stores in South Africa. I've seen those online. I would love to visit one day. Um, if you've been over to my channel before, you'll know that I used to do Marks and Spencer's hauls and other supermarket hauls in the Isle of Man and also the UK. If you think that this store and the packaging and items is similar to Marks and Spencer's please let me know down below in the comment section I really feel like this store is very very similar to Marks and Spencer's um, we don't shop here often it is quite pricey compared to other supermarkets but with the pound being one one pound for 20 Namibian dollars at the moment it works out a bit cheaper and it's similar for the US dollar as well for my American friends so we've got like loads of juices fresh items like milk and the salads cereals and um, fresh meat they have ready-made meals like um Marks and spencers as well but they don't have ready-made sandwiches which you know Marks and spencers is really popular for they've got different types of cheeses like aged cheese one thing i've noticed over here is they'll say that cheese is mature but it's not like aged you know like back in um in england so when you're having the cheese it tastes more like a mild cheese so they've got lots of different snacks chocolates they do have cadbury's but i think that the formulation is a bit different um it's made in south africa i think so it tastes a bit different than the cadbury's from back home we've got ferrero rochers belgium chocolate but the own brand chocolate is absolutely amazing um they've got some vegan products like vegan chicken burgers vegan beef burgers they do these um beef sausage rolls and the guy i think he says that there's like eight to layers of pastry on there the kids really like those and Here's the fresh meat section and there's pizzas there as well. They've got bread here and they've got gluten-free options. One thing I've noticed in all of the supermarkets here, tortilla wraps, you know back home you could get them for really cheap. Here, you're looking at about three pounds. Um, they're quite expensive. So this is a chocolate that Caleb picked up and he really liked those. Outside is a little place where you can go and pick up a coffee. And then it, it's really nice. Is, is it called like an atrium? There's like different shops in there. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I hope they enjoy it. Oh, thank you so much. I'm sure they will, won't they? Yeah. Yeah, okay, well, look at them. Don't they look amazing? Oh, yeah. is, is, all the, is all the chocolate made here in Namibia? Yes. Yeah. Except for the ones. Oh, the these, ones. these ones, okay. Yeah. The rest are made in Namibia. I love yeah, the pictures. It's lovely, isn't it? Look at all these chocolates. So cool. Where does the, the cocoa come from? Or the, the chocolate? They order it from um, Belgium. Oh, and so it's then all... they made it in make it in in some main fabric. Oh nice. So do they have a store there as well in Vintos? Yes. They have one at the Marua Mall, one at um Grove Mall, and one in Gustav Fox and Metro. Wow. Isn't it? And then they've got coffee up there as well. Oh, Are you ready to go? Oh, I the beast coming out. Thank you so much. I've just been to Woolworths, so I've just got like a little haul. Spent 500 maybe dollars, which is 25 pounds. We're just on our way to Vintage, so I just stopped to get some. I got this box of chocolates for my mum and dad in law, and this is Belgian chocolate, so I'll put like a clip in of where we went in that um, shop. They make um, all the chocolate in um, Belgian chocolate in Vintage, she said. 
So I got this for me, which is a halloumi cheese and lentils. I really think that the um, the packaging is very much like Marks and Spencer's. Um, for breakfast tomorrow, the kids have never had this before, but um, Caleb was saying that, did you used to have it when you was a kid, this smile or something? So he wanted to get this, so this is what they're going to be having, but usually they have oats. And then I got this like a, a couple of weeks ago, and I've just finished the box, and it's really nice. It's oats, oats and ancient grains. It's oat, quinoa and millet, really nice, like cereal. And then I got this for for me and for Ryan, so there's a cola and vanilla flavour and this is the Passion Aid. Whenever we go out anywhere, I always get this, I really like it. And then I got this for Ryan, he said he's never had one before, which is a Biltong pasta salad. So what do you think of that? It's got that Biltong on top. And then I got him these as well to try, which are Brai lamb chops or Brai is barbecue um, in Afrikaans, isn't it? So yeah, I got that um, for Ryan. I love chose this cheese flavoured maize snacks and then again Kayla we chose this as well for the road multicoloured egg milk chocolate um looks like um Cadbury's doesn't it and then I got them some juices so this is great 100% great so the six in there I'll give you that now Kayla I got this for me a peanut butter and cocoa protein bar and then just some more salt and vinegar flavoured potato snacks so they're like Pringles. So this is a little haul, I know I said I wasn't doing any hauls but I just thought I'd show you a couple of things from Woolworths. You'll see some footage of when I was walking around as well. So that's it, so I hope you like this video and if you're interested in seeing more Namibian videos then I'll leave a playlist here and also food hauls as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, bye! Oh, how nice does all the food look, guys? <laughs>